Hi and Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Chillax brought to you by MRC MFZ IIUM Kuantan. I'm Awi Azam, your speaker for today. Time is gold. This archaic phrase has been used to encapsulate the importance and value of time. So, what is time? Time is the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present and future, regarded as a whole. In the present day, though, time is obviously way more precious than gold per se. It is the ever-elusive, non-graspable, almost mystical, most sought-after element in life. An inch of time gets you inches of gold, but an inch of gold can't buy you an inch of time. The importance of time is mentioned repeatedly in the Holy Quran. Among them is one that's widely used in all our gatherings and meetings here in IIUM, which is the 103rd Surah of the Quran, Surah al -As. This surah emphasizes on the significance of every time fragment leading towards the path of success in life, now and hereafter. Yes, every millisecond counts. It reminds us to be vigilant and aware, always. Because if we slack, we will miss those occurrences and opportunities. In layman terms, I would say, you snooze, you lose. Therefore, let's strive to fully utilize time so that we are among the bankers, not losers. How, you ask? Time management. It's the key to success. Successful people manage their time well. They don't waste it because they know that time for gone is money by gone. Don't watch the clock. Do what it does. Keep ticking. Now, let's break it down to have a better insight. Change begins with oneself. To better manage time, you need to instill immaculate values. But the list is endless, so I'll just discuss the few that acronymically make up the word time. T-I-M-E You need to be tenacious industrious, mindful, and efficient. A tenacious person is someone who does not give up and never stops trying. Someone who does whatever is required to accomplish a goal. Would you like to become one? Start by setting simple objectives, very specific and crystal clear goals. Make them measurable, and when you can, add time frames to them, like finishing 20% of your assignment within an hour, or even something menial like doing laundry before the weekend. Next is to break the goals into sub-goals. As humans, we are motivated by progress. Having said that, when you break goals down into smaller tasks and complete them, you'll experience small but frequent encouragement that will be able to carry you in the long run. Lastly, keep your goals handy and realistic. Check your progress. If you're not making headway on them, figure out why. Remember, we all have what it takes to be tenacious. Just don't give up, okay? The next letter in the word time would be I and it represents industriousness. Time is naturally set to make us industrious, an essential characteristic for one to overcome obstacles and lead a productive life. Being industrious is basically working hard with diligence and devotion. You can develop this industrious trait simply by keeping busy. Just get up and do something. Stay busy. You'll be amazed at how much you could actually accomplish within a day. 
many individuals spend a considerable amount of time sitting around doing nothing but wondering and worrying and procrastinating especially during this pandemic however if one simply gets busy you will find that there aren't quite as many complex problems that you may have previously imagined there were besides you can experience great satisfaction and relief when you tackle and resolve the problems you do have again as i mentioned earlier don't just sit there looking at the clock do what it does keep ticking keep moving that is being industrious you occupy time productively the letter m in time should represent the value of mindfulness being mindful is actually a practice of being aware of our thoughts and feelings as they come up but it is done without judgment criticism or any attachment you appreciate the time you have simply by being present in life to the people around you focus on things that matter be wary of your surroundings you have to be alert if you need a moment to unwind go ahead take five whether you're in traffic or at work or with your family or even alone you can practice slowing down and becoming aware of what's going on around you and within you remember to take a break when you need to despite how heavy and hectic your schedule is at least take a second to stop and smell the roses you'll have more appreciation for all the beauty and abundance that life has to offer reflecting and celebrating your achievements matters as well this will greatly benefit your mental physical and emotional health as well as the relationships you nurture in life community and environment last but not least e stands for efficiency an efficient individual makes the most out of each minute of the day giving his or her fullest attention to the most important task first tackle assignments and tasks in order of importance and urgency the four basics of number one important and urgent Number two, important but not urgent. Number three, urgent but not important. Number four, not urgent and not important. You have to work smart. Being efficient won't just improve your productivity, but it'll give you a great sense of accomplishment as well. One thing that you can do to ensure your efficiency throughout the day is to control your environment or else it will control you. If you banish distractions, you can make sure your environment is conducive for productivity. Apart from that, since we all know how fallible our brains are, write down everything we need to do in a list. Once that is done, you'll be more likely to follow through on them. We normally say that time is an illusion, a dimension where human beings sense and record changes in the environment and universe. It is magnificent that no matter how much you slice it, there are still 24 hours a day. So please use it wisely. The way we spend time defines who we are. Time is what we want most, but what we use worst. Think about it. You need to start appreciating the time you have because we don't know what's in store for us in the future. I'm gonna beat you adieu with a little something to ponder upon. A quote by Harvey McKay. Time is free, but it's priceless. You cannot own it, but you can use it. You cannot keep it, but you can spend it. Once you lost it, you can never have it back. Hopefully, all these tips have slightly enlightened you on time management. I'm Auni, signing off for now. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye!